What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in GTA 5 on Xbox One for a first person challenge. Now, this is a pretty simple one, at least I think it's going to be, but um, what the what we're going to do, what the plan is, is to uh, completely in first person take this, uh, this truck with the boat trailer and back it into the water, launch the boat, and then take the boat from here to, well actually, all the way up here. Actually, probably right past that, right around the coastline right up here. So, um, we don't really have a specific destination, obviously, but um, this is more of a, uh, more of kind of like a, kind of like a fun first, uh, first episode. It's not too difficult of a challenge, but um, hopefully we don't run into any complications along the way. And uh, first thing we're going to do is back up to the water and try not to run anybody over because that would cause unnecessary drama. And, <laughs> and hopefully, yeah, we got people swimming out there. I'm going to try and get to an area of the beach that's not quite as populated. Because I don't want to have to deal with cops while I'm doing this. Believe me, I don't. Back it up. Straighten it out. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Back it up a little bit more. All right, boat's out. We got to go catch it, though. We're going to lose it if we don't catch it. Come on. I think we're good. I've pressed Y. Yeah, we're good. First first-person boat experience. Oh, God. The, <laughs> the truck is sinking. Doesn't really matter now, but... Doesn't really matter now, since we've actually got the boat in the water, but... Oh wow, it actually changes views when you go airborne? That's kind of weird. I mean, I kind of understand why they do it, so you can see where you're going, but at the same time... I don't know, I think I'd rather stay in first person. Just gives it a little bit more of a pure experience, but it's not doing it now. It was doing it earlier, though. Oop, there we go. Can definitely see the uh, the ridiculous improvement in the water textures. That's for sure. The water looks infinitely better. It's a lot more, uh, just a lot more vibrant, a lot more clear. Um, it's got a nicer texture to it. It looks, I don't know. It looks almost cleaner. It, it, it that's, I mean, kind of. That's kind of like a weird way to say it. I think, but it looks cleaner. The the water in the um, previous generation versions of the game looked a little grainy and it looked like kind of dirty and grainy and in this version it's got a really really nice uh almost like a glow to it you can really almost see through it and it's a, it's got a really nice look i really like what they did with it just about to approach the pier i'm debating on trying to go through uh like trying to go right under it or to go around it we'll probably just go right under it why not <laughs> Probably, well, we'll see if the boat can fit. That's the thing. If the boat can't fit, we're screwed. Well, we kind of fit. We hit it on the side just a little bit. We kind of fit. Another boot! The first-person view is just so addicting, though. You get, you get into the first-person view, and you kind of... In the beginning, yeah, you do have to push yourself a little bit to uh to want to be to want to be using it but once you use it for i don't know probably 30 minutes to an hour then you start to get a feel for it and you start to want to use it a lot more and then once you really start to use it then you start to develop a feel for it and it almost feels like some of those i don't know i don't want to say it feels like a first person shooter but it almost it almost feels like a mixture of different games like the driving is very very midnight club ish and I mean that makes sense because you've got Rockstar obviously and you've got the whole uh, history with Midnight Club and all and everything like that so that's completely understandable but um, when you look when you look at it a little bit more you realize that it's not just um, it it's not just Midnight Club but the actually the biggest influence though for Midnight Club is the hand position on the steering wheel it's got this like really high uh, steering wheel position and that's very Midnight Club style. The handling is obviously GTA style, but it feels different when you're in first person. It really does. You've got this almost like a almost like a 
like a feeling like everything is really, really grippy all of a sudden. Like it feels a lot more grippy than usual. And then once you get into it mo a little bit more, you kind of start to see the differences between uh, the car's handling. And I feel like that's why people shouldn't judge the handling in first person right off the bat. Because right off the bat, it's going to feel weird and you're most likely not gonna, gonna like it. You're really, you really aren't. Most likely, you really are not gonna like it. Um, but you have to give it time. You have to give it a little bit of effort. And I feel like it, it'll be a little bit of a deviation for uh, people that have been in the GTA series for a long time. Even if you've been in it from just GTA 4, it's, it'll, it'll be a transition and it'll be something that isn't gonna happen. I mean, I, I mentioned, you know, half hour to an hour. It might take... It might take a day, it might take a few days, it all depends on the person, really, and you can't really match, you can't match yourself up to somebody else as far as, like, whether or not you like first person or how long it took you to get used to it. I mean, if you sincerely don't like first person, then that's fine, you know, you can, you can play the game outside of first person. I mean, there's so many other improvements to the game other than first person that even if you don't like first person, I mean, if you, like, just completely hate first person, there's a ton of other improvements that are that are very, um, instantly visible, uh, within the game, like the- OW, buoy. <laughs> but no, you can- you can see the improvements in the graphical textures, you can see the improvements in gameplay, and everything runs smoother. Um, GTA 5 on- on Xbox 360, at least for me, always had a big issue with frame drop. I mean, I- you guys can actually see that in some of my older GTA videos. There was this huge- not- well, I say huge, there wasn't a huge frame drop issue, but it was definitely noticeable. And you can see, actually, you can tell with the new draw distance and everything and how how much further out everything is rendered. You can see the cable car um, station on the top of Mount Chiliad from here. It's ridiculous. Now, back to the back, back to what I was talking about before, though. The, uh, the whole first person versus third person debate. There are going to be some purists that are not going to like it at all, definitely. That's that's fine, though. That's absolutely fine. And the best part about it is that it's an option. You're not being, you know, nobody's being forced to use it as a view. Nobody's being forced to play through the game in first person. Um, there's nothing that's like, hey, play through the game in first person. Or else, you know, there's nothing like that. There's no um, pressure for first person or anything. And that's, that's, that's how they that's how they went about it right that's how they went about it properly and you know what you know what we are going to switch to a jet ski because technically we're not leaving the water we're still in a water vehicle oh yes this is gonna be sweet oh i already like this better than the boat for sure this is already worlds better than the boat. The visibility is way better. You can do massive jumps. Oh yeah. It's awesome. And sure, it might not be the most, uh, or the dashes might not be the most graphically detailed dashes, yeah. But you gotta think of how, how many other things the game has to process at once if you look at it from a technology standpoint because if you look at it from a technology standpoint GTA 5 especially the next gen version with all the stuff they've done to it is actually a lot more a lot more in depth of a game than a lot of people think cuz if you look at it on the surface you you look at it on the surface and it's like oh the graphics aren't as good as whatever other game but you got to think that other game doesn't have to render this many objects at once and it doesn't have to render this many particles at once and um you really have to you really have to appreciate what Rockstar has done when you look at it from that point of view. And I actually don't know where I am on the map right now. I feel like I'm because I passed Mount Chiliad, so I may actually be past um, the area that I originally wanted to get to. Oh wait, well no, because there's the top of Mount Chiliad, so no, I still have a ways to go. Okay, we're cool, we're good. I may want to go a little bit closer to land though. The jet skis work better when you're closer to land, at least, like, out of the... I mean, they're okay in the rough seas, but they work better when you can get a lot of speed up. Granted, they're a lot of fun when you can jump them off the waves and stuff, but if you're just looking for pure speed, you kind of want to be closer to uh, the shore just for that added bit of um, stability. Nearly there, though. 
we can... What the hell is that? It's like a white line rendering out in the distance. Probably just a funky water texture. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a funky water texture. In fact, let me check my map real quick, see how much further we have to go. Oh, wow. Okay. That went well. <laughs> that went well. We were supposed to get off back here. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize we'd gone that far. So, I'm going to turn around and head back. And uh, we're going to park this thing up. And this also is another one of the reasons why this uh, the next-gen version is so much, more, um, so much further along. Because on the previous-gen version, yeah, you had sunsets, but none that looked this good. I mean, and I'm rendering these videos in 1080p to try and give you guys the best quality I possibly can. I mean, it's not going to come across exactly as I'm seeing it because YouTube kind of cuts out a little bit of quality in, the, in their own processing. But what you can see right now is it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's way, way better. And like I said, it might not look a ton better on... Um, on YouTube, even in 1080p, because of the way YouTube processes videos and stuff like that, but as far as, if you're actually, like, watching it on, being played on a 1080p HD TV, it's, or even a 4K TV, it's ridiculous the amount of detail that they put into it, so, um, and you can see just the sun going down, the detail that goes into that, you can see it shining off the trees, the sky, it's, it's really a drastic improvement, and they've done quite a bit with this game, to um to bring it up to the level that it's at now now all we need is heists and we better get them once the pc version comes out i'm pulling for that i'm pulling for heists but if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the next one talk to you guys later